I became friends with Tupac Shakur and Tupac was incarcerated and we were writing back and forth. I was sending him books and unfortunately he lost his package privileges because he was smoking weed while he was incarcerated. So he was really depressed because he was really looking forward to, you know, the books that, that, that I would send him. Mm -hmm. And he kept asking me, you know, come visit, come visit, come visit. And they put him way up at the top of New York state, almost to the border of Montreal. And I was living in Manhattan at the time. So it was a six hour drive for me to go visit him. Well, finally over Labor Day weekend, I decided to make the trek. So visitation started at eight o'clock in the morning. So I left at midnight and I drove all the way up to, you know, to the, to the top of, of New York state to visit him. And when I got there, they seated me right in front of like where the guards sit. And they did that. At first, I, I thought that they were like just watching him extra closely and extra carefully. But then I realized, no, they're just nosy. They want to know who's here to visit Tupac and what are they talking about? Mm. So we're sitting there chatting and we were talking about he was he had just found a new lawyer and he was putting in an appeal and he was hoping to get released and come home after his appeal, you know, was won, you know, hopefully. And I said to him, well, if you win your appeal, does that mean you can sue them for the time that you lost? Cause he had just put out an album, right? Mm -hmm. So he had lost, he put out an album in February. This was in September. So he had lost like seven months of prime promotion sure. time. So I said to him, well, you know, can you sue him? And he said to me, no, I'm going to ask for a credit because I know something's going to fuck up and I'm just going to be right, you know, right back in another situation. And we laughed like idiots. And then I looked up and the guards that were watching us were laughing too. Oh, and I just thought funny. that was so funny because we all got to like share this joke because they were eavesdropping and, you know, we were just sharing a laugh. But that's what Tupac was. He had an amazing, amazing sense of humor. And even when he was in a situation that was bad for him, you know, he was still making jokes with me. And I just wow. love that. I love that about him. <laughs>